such a valiant effort to fight your way back into a ball game like this and then to lose it that way. Talk, give us your talk, thoughts on what the intent was at the end of the ball game in that inbounds. <laughs> you t get foul, you know, get the ball inbounds. You, we had our free throw shooters uh, in the game and uh, we knew that they probably would trap one time before they fouled and uh, they did. Corey got it out and, uh, you know, Bojan, Bojan you know, th you know, threw a lob pass that uh, you know, just was in the air for a long time, allowed uh, Rozier to uh, run under underneath. But you, know, you just got, you got to execute. You know, we, we talked about this uh, at the beginning of the game against a group like this, very physical team, uh, you know, number one defensive team in the league. And uh, you got to use each other. You got to set screens and be strong with the ball. Uh, it really took us through the second half to, uh, you know, play against that defense. And, uh, you know, it's a 48 minute game. And uh, you got to execute uh, all 48 minutes. We, we just lost our composure, I thought, in that uh, last minute. You know, we uh, made free throws and, you know, guys got up and were, we were pressing and, you know, they wrote, ran right by us. Uh, you keep the guys in front of you, you know. So just, I mean, some miscues down the stretch that, uh, that cost us that game. Nate, hey, what do you tell your team after a game like that? We stay together. You know, you don't point fingers. Um, you know, this is hard. It's hard to, uh, to take. Uh, uh, but you, you, you got, you're going to have to move on. Uh, but you stay together. And, um, you know, we can't, you know, we got to figure out a way to, to get off to better starts. I thought, uh, you know, once again, we, you know, we came out and they punched us uh, in the mouth right from the start and just dug ourselves a hole. And, you know, a, a good team like this, you got to be solid. You can't uh, allow yourself to get into holes like that and fight your way out and expect to, uh, you know, to win those games. We was able to do that, but I mean, I mean, I, I don't know how many uh, of those possessions in the first quarter that they scored on, but it seemed like they scored every possession in that first quarter. Yeah, they hit the first 10 shots. Um, you mentioned screening earlier. It seemed like they were getting a lot more out of their screens than you were, at least for the first half or three quarters of the game. Is that something you guys need to improve on just screening to get it guys open well they're the number one defensive team in the league you know so they do a good job of getting through screens and and uh you know i thought we you know uh tried to get hits you know they they at times flop you know we got called for some illegal screens um but you know that's part of what you have to do every night but especially against a group like this you've got to uh work together and, you know, it's like a marriage uh, when you, uh, those two guys are involved in a, a screen, whether it's a pin down or a pick and roll. Uh, the guard has to slow up and allow that big to get set. And then the guard has to run him off, you know. So the, big, so the two got to be connected in situations like that. Uh, I thought we started to get some screens and was able to attack and score. And, you know, we fought our way back into uh, uh, this game almost lost now because of the way it finished was Oladipo's 38-point game, and he carried you once again down the stretch. Is it as simple as we're going to give him the ball and let him make something happen? Well, you're going to put the ball in the hands of your best player, you know, no different than what they did with Kyrie. You know, you're going to look to give, put the ball in the hands of a guy that uh, is showing that he can make plays, whether he is uh, scoring the ball, getting to the basket, or making the pass. And, uh, you know, Victor is slowly showing that, you know, he wants the ball in his hands and he deserves the ball in his hands. So, yeah, we're going to, um, uh, you know, put him with a combination that works tonight. Domas uh, was doing a pretty good job of defending and screening and running the, the, pin, the pick and roll action with our guards. So we end up finishing with them.